This video shows how you create your own screens in Gorilla. So to add a display, I'm going to call this template one. And here I want to add a screen, but rather than using any of the pre-built ones, I want to create my own. So I'm gonna add a blank one. And now I need to edit the layout. So I click on edit layout and I can add a zone. And by default, when you add a zone, so what I did here was I just clicked on it. By default, when you add a zone, it's a blank zone, but you can turn it into any one of these. So for instance, I might want it to be an image zone like this, um, and I could press OK, uh, and maybe I want it a bit bigger. Uh, and I've uploaded a stimulus already, so I've got kitten.png over here, so maybe I want it to show kitten.png, and then when I press preview, I would see the kitten. Uh, now what I might also need to do is add a continue button on there So I, again, I can just add a zone by default. It's an empty zone But then I click on it to change its type and I might want a continue button. Oops, that's the fixation continue button So now when I press preview I've got my kitten and the continue button Maybe I want to add a sound. Add a zone, put it wherever I want it to be. Now a, a sound zone isn't um, visible so it doesn't really matter where you put it, but I could put an audio element in here. And then I'd need to set it as normal with either with content from the spreadsheet or with static content. So there you go, a short video on how to create your own screens from scratch.